Down to three on the play clock. Toss back to Henry. Looks for the edge. Gets his first down again. Auburn had him, but let him slip free, and it's a first down for Alabama. Lawson and Lambert got back there. But got a flag on the other side over here. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. Sideline warning against Alabama. That is their first warning. So it's a nothing penalty. I, I'm, I'm curious why they, why a flag is ever, was thrown on that. Yeah. Why not just come back? I know you get two times for a penalty, but why throw the flag? Because it doesn't result in anything. Just come over the, the PA system and say it instead of throwing a flag. On the prior play... We had 12 players on defense. That five-yard penalty will be enforced for the previous spot. First down. Where's the flag? They came back, Stan, at the 45, I think, and dropped it. Right, in the, right at the line of scrimmage, I think. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, well regardless, it, it'll be – he got about five yards on the play, so you, you don't tag it on. You don't add it to the end of the run, do you? I don't think you add it to the end of the run. How do you add this to the end of the run? And that's what, exactly what they've done because the ball was at the 46 of Auburn, and now it's at so the 40. So now it's first and five? Or is it first and ten? Well, it, it's got to be first and ten, but how do you add it to the end of the run unless they were, had 12 men out yeah. there this particular play? Yeah. I'm not sure. All right, first and ten Alabama. They're at the Auburn 40. Play action for Coker. Steps up. Oh, that's got to be a hold. Are you kidding me? Now on the run, and Justin Garrett finally rides him out of bounds. And then a flag. Oh, oh my man, gosh. Why? A flag at the 36 yard line. This is incredible. And, and he was making a play. Oh, and the officials hurt, but that is a bad. That's a bad call. First of all, Carl Lawson was getting mugged. I mean, that, I thought that was going to be an easy holding call. Carl Lawson literally was getting mugged, and he was just pushed out of bounds. How is that a How is that a penalty? An, an official, once again, an official going to make his mark on this Iron Bowl. Yep. And that's just pitiful. And other flags being thrown on Gus. And that, that's just pitiful. You know, this game had been fairly consistently officiated, minus the holding call. It was just missed right there. But then you're going to have a 30-yard penalty getting Alabama off the hook. And it's just a shame yeah. that it goes this way all the time. After the play, personal foul laid it out of bounds. Defense. It seems like it never fails that that maybe a side, maybe a sideline warning and not a. It seems like it never fails. There's always one or two controversial calls in this game. Now there's no doubt Rudy Ford made contact with. He was falling down. But he though. was falling down during the dead ball period. We had an unsportsmanlike conduct against the bench of Auburn. 15 yards. That's amazing. 30 yards in penalties. And I'm going to tell you something. I have never seen a coach in college football ride officials like Nick Saban does. Yeah. And yet he continuously will never get one. But then Gus Malzahn gets a, an official for the uh, a penalty on unsportsmanlike. And I can tell you. Now, it, challenge me if I'm wrong. Have you ever seen no. a college coach no. ride officials like Nick Saban? Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a college coach get a penalty. They always let them have their, have their say-so. I mean, this is detrimental. And, yeah, a warning. And here's the this thing. is detrimental because now you're talking about field goal range. Yeah. It, it's just completely, amazing. Completely changes the complexion yes, of the game. It's amazing. Thanks to the men and in strikes. Officials are not designed to change outcomes. They're designed to officiate the game. And let me tell you something. Yeah, I don't know if the uh, the uh, penalty was on Gus or whether it was on Will. You know, I, I and I defy you to go back and find an Iron Bowl where, where Alabama had more penalty yards than Auburn. That's 30, 30 gimme yards in penalties. And, yeah, you're right. Officials typically will let a coach have his say, and I guarantee you, I don't know a coach in college football that rides officials more than Nick Saban that doesn't get a penalty, yet Auburn's side gets a 15-yard penalty, this will which be will be a field goal range penalty. It's a nine-point game yeah. thanks to the officials. Yeah, that's 22, amazing. 13, 10 4 to go in the fourth. And let me tell you something. These fans, th yeah. that bench, they have every reason to be upset. But unfortunately, 
There is not a and, darn thing you can do about exactly. it. Exactly. There's nothing you can do. And Tom and, and Will Muschamp is in the head of Tom Ritter right now, and he should be, because that is ridiculous. I mean, that is ridiculous. And you, you know what? They have every right. Be consistent. And I'm gonna tell you that that needs to be sent to the SEC office, because you don't you give a. A coaching on the sideline, you give them the leeway to make their point. Yep, absolutely. And you don't throw a 15-yard on the first time without a warning. Basically, they were asking about, with the head linesman, Johnny Crawford, about the holding call or lack thereof on Carl Lawson while the 15-yard penalty was being talked about on the Alabama side. Then another official came in and threw the flag on Auburn sideline. But Auburn coaches were talking to officials, guys, and the 15-yard penalty came down. That, that, see that? And that, that 15 now, okay. The hit out of bounds was so-so. It was okay. okay. But right. then you add another 15. That 15-yard on the bench was essentially was the field goal. Yep. Because it was a 46-yard, it would have been a 61-yarder. And, and so that, that kind of stuff just can't happen. The inconsistencies. Well, not at this level. Not in what is supposed to be supposedly the premier league in the conference.